No soap. What's more, no other suds, no other washing product known will get your clothes as clean as Tide. Yes, Procter & Gamble's amazing Tide promises you the cleanest wash that ever came out of your washing machine. That's because Tide, with its new miracle suds, not only leaves clothes free from dirt, it removes dingy soap film, too. And that happens to your whole family wash. Linens, prints, even greasy overalls. Yet with all this cleaning power, Tide is safe, truly safe, for all your washable colors. In fact, Tide actually brightens those soap-dulled colors. And if you're wondering about your white linens and your husband's shirts, well, in hardest water, Tide gets them whiter than any other washing product known. What's more, Tide keeps them white week after week, never turns them yellow. Sure, there are many, many washing products to choose from, but remember, only by choosing Tide will you get all this. The cleanest, brightest, whitest wash you ever hung on the line. Now, I'm sure you know that Mason's client, Mary McKean, has been arrested, charged with kidnapping her own child, and that a slow, steady pressure is being exerted on her to turn her against her lawyer. Meanwhile, what about Mason? who at this moment is a fugitive from the police with a price of $500 on his head. Well, right now, inside a small black florist truck, we hear. Paul. Yes, Della? Is it much farther to Peach's garage? Oh, not much. Block or so. Why? Why? Did you ever sit on the floor of a delivery truck? <laughs> oh, that's right. Laugh. Go on, laugh. You can laugh sitting there on the driver's seat sitting on that nice upholstered cushion. Uh, there's a bump in the street. Hang on. Oh! <laughs> oh, right. Never mind, Della. Never mind? No, let him have his fun now. You can have yours later. How? When he sends in his bill, you can beat him down. Oh. That'll hurt him a lot worse than being bounced around in a delivery truck. Oh, Chief, you're wonderful. Well, thank you. I feel better already. Listen, you fugitives. Yes, Mr. Detective. You get just a little bit lippier, and do you know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Turn us over to the police. Well, you're worth $500 cash. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it, either. We end up in an accident, and I know a certain private detective who loses his license, but permanently. Oh, don't worry about me. I can drive this truck with my eyes closed. Well, wait till we get to the garage before you demonstrate, please. Uh, speaking of the 500 reward that's out for you, Perry. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I imagine Peaches knows about it. Yeah, so do I. You know, Peaches likes money as well as the next man. Huh? Paul, you don't think well, that... you'll be taking that chance. Right now, I'm the only one who knows where you two are. But the minute you walk into Peaches' office, he's in on it, too. It's, uh, it's worth thinking over. Because we're almost at his garage. Well, I don't think there's any choice, Paul. We have to take the chance. But Perry... Peaches knows who helped Doc frame Mary. He trucked that scenery back and forth from the theatrical warehouse. Now, Peaches isn't any theatrical trucker. He's no expert at handling scenery. He was picked for a different reason. We all know this matter has to be settled fast. The police are not dopes. They're going to pick me up sooner or later. And, well, as I see it, we just have to take the chance. Oh... Are the seats in the police patrol upholstered, Paul? <laughs> All your troubles are over, Della. Here we go into the garage. Oh, at last. Get around and back and open the door, Chief. <laughs> Take it easy, Della. Take it easy, Chief. You'll have to for another minute or so, Della. But now... Look, Paul wants to make sure that Peaches is alone. Oh, sorry. Back in a minute. Yeah. We don't want to get this far along, unload and walk right in onto a cop who's trying to sell Peaches a ticket to the policeman's ball. I know. I'm sorry. I haven't been thinking. I guess I... Well, I... you've been uncomfortable and you're tired and you're not used to having the police on for you. Well, just the same. Well, I just could... the same. You've been a real sport. You know, I wouldn't give a dime for a person who just took it and didn't sound off sometime or other. So you got mad because Paul was sitting on a comfortable driver's seat while you were bouncing <laughs> around on the floor. It didn't do any harm. Shh. Hmm? Footsteps. Coming this way. Oh, Paul, I guess. And Peaches? I guess so. Do you think he'll play ball with us, Perry? I hope he will. We'll certainly find out soon enough. Okay, kids. Come on in. Oh, thank goodness. Here, let me help you down, Mr. Peter. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Oh, it feels so good to stretch. Ah, you ain't changed a bit. Oh. You're still as cute as when I saw you last. 
<laughs> Why, Peaches, you're a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can say that after the beating I've taken in the back of that florist truck. Say, Miss Street, think I don't know? You know, I remember once when I was a kid, I was helping run alcohol down from Canada. This was during Prohibition. Uh, when I... Didn't you say a squad car has a regular beat in front of your garage? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Drake. <laughs> I don't think the cops believe I'm a reformed character. <laughs> oh, I get what you're talking about. We, we get a couple of lamsters in here with us, huh? How does it feel to have the cops after you, Mr. Mason? Well, I can think of more pleasant things. Yeah, yeah. Well, come on, let's go in the office. All right. You can't see into the office from the street. Fine. Uh, we can talk better there without the noise of this machinery business here. You know? Good idea, Peter. Did you hear the last broadcast, Mr. Mason? Well, I don't know. Offering 500 bucks for you. Yes, we heard that one. 500 bucks. <laughs> they never thought I was worth that much. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the office. Step right in. All right, Stella. You know, you're hotter than a two-bit pistol, Mr. Mason. Yes, I know it. With that kind of dough being offered for you, you you ain't got long. That's why I'm here, Peaches. You mean you're going to let me turn you in and collect the dough? <laughs> Sorry, Peaches, but no. I want you to help me, because I have to wind up a certain case, but fast. There'll be a squad car by inside of ten minutes. You know, I, I could use that 500 bucks, Mr. Mason. Yes, I don't doubt it. And besides, it put me in solid with the cops. They just won't believe me when I say I'm reformed. <laughs> Peaches. And then there's this angle. Suppose they find you went in here to talk to me. Let's quit the kidding, Peaches. A guy huh? like me don't have a chance to turn in on a score every day. Not for $500. Look. Are you figuring to turn me in? Well, it's an awful temptation, Mr. Mason. Well, a squad car will be by in less than ten minutes, according to you. Are you going to do it? Well, I'd like to, but uh, you know me, Mr. Mason. You did me a big favor once, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't rat on a guy who did me a favor. Miss Street, Mr. Drake. Say, they, they don't know I'm kidding. Oh, uh... Why, of course I did. Sure. Ah, in a pig's eye, you did. They thought I was serious, Mr. Mason. You're the only one who knew I was kidding. I must be getting a bad reputation. Well, we've all been under a strain, Peaches. Well, Miss Street here should have known better. I'm sorry, Peaches, but We're in quite a rat race, Peaches. Well, now, look, I... My client is going to be indicted Monday. Yeah? Yeah, for a crime of which he's innocent. Just as innocent as you were when the cops arrested you. So... So, as you pointed out, I'm going to be picked up sooner or later. Uh -huh. Before I'm picked up, if I don't have the McKean case pretty well solved... Murtaugh's going to nail your hide to the barn door. Yeah, he'll do worse than that. He'll see to it that I'm disbarred. Which means that you're going to have to quit being a lawyer. Which means I have to quit being a lawyer. Well, I don't intend to quit being a lawyer, Peaches. So, you see, I have to move fast. Well, I can see that all right, Mr. Mason, and... Uh... Well, okay. I, I owe you a tab. What do you want me to do? You know those theatrical backgrounds you hauled to a vacant lot? Yeah. Those flats were used to frame my client. They were set up. My client was posed against them after she was doped, and pictures were taken of her. I have to prove those pictures were a frame-up, Peaches. I also have to find a couple of the people who were in on it, or who saw it done. Now, I know that your records show you took those backgrounds to a vacant lot, Peaches. But I also know that no one could take pictures of that nature in full view without getting into trouble with the police. So? Where did you really deliver those background speeches? And to whom? Uh, Mr. Mason, yeah? I want to help you, honest. Well, then go ahead. Oh, wait, wait. Now, look, I want to help you, but I got my reputation to consider. I get called into deals, you know. Now, now what happens to my business if word gets around here that this peaches guy uh, leaks like a sieve? You see, Mr. Mason, I just can't go around naming names and handing out addresses. You you wouldn't expect me to... Do. On the other hand, Peaches... I don't see any other hand. On the other hand, if we were to do it again... Do what again? Remake those pictures. Not in that vacant lot, but in the building where they were actually taken. Oh. A detective, Paul Drake here, could have learned the address of that building. And that's all you want me to do? That's all. Except transport the flats. I don't think you'll have to do anything else. Because I'm pretty sure that once we start a remake of the same kind of picture, somebody's going to turn up who'll be mighty curious. 
That somebody is all I'll need. I wouldn't have said a word. You wouldn't have said a word. But how, how do I explain you? Well, you say that I'm the quickie movie producer. You say I'm cashing in on the publicity of the McKean trial, the scandal. It'll hold water, Peaches. It'll hold water. Yeah, I guess it will. Then do we do it? Yeah, Mr. Mason, I don't see why not. When do you want me to pick up those flats and cameras and uh, the rest of them things? As fast as possible, Peaches. As fast as possible. Theatrical backgrounds, cameras, and the rest of the things. What in the world does Perry Mason have in mind? Well, whatever it is, of this we may be sure, the time and the space in which he has to move, in which he must prove himself and Mary McKean innocent, is dwindling, dwindling, dwindling. Until... But won't you join us on Monday? When I say tide is different... I mean it's different from any other washing product you can buy. That includes soap, suds discoveries, everything made for washing clothes. Tide gets clothes cleaner than any of them. Because Tide not only leaves clothes free from dirt, it removes dingy soap film as well. Yet with all this remarkable cleaning power, Tide is safe, truly safe, for all your washable colors. What's more, Tide takes gay prints and checks and actually brightens those soap-dulled colors. And in hardest water... Tide gets white things whiter than any other washing product known. Now, of course, you want to know about suds. Well, Tide gives oceans of high billowy suds, even in hardest water. They're different looking, different feeling suds. Different suds from different Tide, the only washing product known that gives you all this. The cleanest, brightest, whitest wash you ever hung on the line. <laughs> 